Hello, welcome back. In the last lecture, we have created a WebDriver backed client and that client is going to automate the steps that is required to find out the price from the orbis.com website and those steps are this. Okay, so all the steps are automated and we have this Java program and if I run this Java program, it is going to do whatever I supposed to do manually. Alright, recall what we have asked you in the first place. Your automation task was to find out what is the lowest price from these three different cities. Alright, so that means you just compute the price from San Francisco to Dallas. Now if you do the same procedure but you change the you know instead of DFW here if you give the airport code for Chicago which is ORD then Whatever this thing is going to compute is going to compute from SFO to ORD. If you want to give some other cities, then it's going to compute for that. So essentially, if I want to find out how, what is the price from San Francisco to, to, to Chicago, then I just can copy all this thing, copy all the steps up to here. I'll put it here. Only I'll change instead of DFW, airport code for Chicago, which is ORD. But that is not the right way to do because you know if you want to compute another city you have to repeat. Basically what you are seeing here you are seeing so all this thing remains same except the airport code. Okay. So what we can do we can create a function. Function is a way to modularize your program. So what I have done already in another program WD demo 2 I have created a function and that function name is find price. Now all those steps that compute the price will be here in this find price. The only variable here is the destination city. That I send a parameter say DEST and that destination is going to be used in this step number 7 when we are sending the keys for the destination tab. And this function is going to return a double value. So this is where I am going to call the function. So first time, so I basically declare two variable price 1 and price 2. So price 1, then I call this function find, find price and then the parameter is DFW. So that means the first time whenever I'm calling, I'm, I'm, I'm giving the departure city as SFO and the arrival city as DFW. Then second time when I'm calling this find price function, my parameter is ORD. Therefore, um, my, my departure city is still SFO, my destination city is DFW. So therefore, the second time it's going to run this find price function, it is going to enter DFW to ORD and it will get a price that is a price 2. Whichever price is lowest, that is the best deal for me that time. And one more thing that I have done here is that whenever you are returning the price the price will be returned like this. Like if you notice the, the value will be something like $316.00. So, so this is a string. This is the P1 price and the P2 price. I cannot compare $316 with $416 or it's not a number variable. So first thing what I need to do, I need to convert this string to a double value. How to do that? So first thing is that I need to remove this character like dollar. Java in string APIs we have a function called replace. So what replace is going to do? Let's say the string is dollar three one six point zero zero. Then if I do replace, uh, replace is going to take two parameters, and the first parameter is the is the character which you want to replace. In my case, the character is dollar. Replace by what? I want to replace by a null string. Okay. So if I do this, then the resulting will be 316.00. And that is exactly what I have done here. I just, whatever the string that I got here, I'm going to do a replace function that. Then this value is, you know, whatever the resulting value will not have the dollar symbol in front. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to call the parse double method of double class and that will take a string and the return for that is a double variable. So now basically what the uh, you know after this code okay we have something called d price and d price is a double 
that means I can compare D price greater than D price one or those kind of those kind of comparison thing can be done here. So that is exactly what I have done. And so I have got price one, price two, and these are double variable. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is simply if price one is greater than price two. Okay. So if so if price one is greater than price two, then So then, okay. Then you go to the city which is Orlando, okay. Because price two is is a list, so you go to city called Orlando. So so if 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 price one is greater than price two, then you don't go to DFW, you go to ORD. Else, you go to DFW. Okay. Or you just can write SFO DFW is cheapest. Uh, let me fix it here. So if SFO to ORD is the cheapest one. If I run this thing, then I can find out the cheapest price. But here is another problem. Like in this example, I just give you two cities and how to compete for 2000 cities. So what are we going to do in the next video? We are going to extend this thing. Thank you.